Ross, what are your thoughts after that? Um, I mean, disapp disappointment is, is obviously whenever we get whenever you get beat, um, there's a, there's obviously you're disappointed and, and like angry and annoyed at how how it how it sort of played out. I don't think um, I don't think we got tight enough at all. I don't think we got close enough. But they they had that sort of free free box three formation or three four three formation to simplify it. And, we were in a four-three-three, and the wing backs. I think because we, because when when we don't have the ball, the wing backs really sort of got got away from us in that first sort of 20 to 25 minutes, and got lots of space. So that was probably the, the first problem. And then moved into a three-five-two, which we were in against Southend, and never really got close to them, and never really got tight enough, really. And it, that that's not just the back three and midfield and, and forwards, and and it's a sort of trust and confidence thing, and just getting tight into players and. But it's difficult. They were they were really good one v one, and and, and it's, it's sometimes you can stand up in, in here and and, and say um, you might be disappointed in certain aspects. And probably I stand stand up most of the time and talk about how um, maybe we've been all right or, or we've performed okay, and not quite got beat. They were better than us today. Uh, they moved the ball better. They were slicker. They picked up pockets and pockets of space that we could never got near them. So yeah. As opening 10 minutes go, that was pretty good. Obviously, we raced into the lead in what, the seventh minute and then we were playing some really nice football. Obviously, Gateshead got back into it. Do you think that was more a case of them playing really well to do so or did it slip from us? Well, it was the, the, the wing-back scores. Or the wing-back gets space, doesn't he? And, and, and that ultimately comes down to um, us not having a wing-back. So, so when you play against sides with wing-backs, you've you got, you got a couple of options. You can drop them into a sort of... A block and, and protect the space, or, or you can go wing back to wing back and try and nullify it that way. And, and well, for whatever reason, the, the the low press or low block that we had wasn't wasn't good enough and, and wasn't controlling distances for them. Um, and he got space and he got time. And and, and that from that minute onwards, like we talked about having a good ten minutes. From that minute onwards, I thought they were better until maybe the last three minutes. So and then what's that? Like the whole bits in between. And um, yeah, just really, just really, really. The, the, fir the first 30 minutes was a system thing. The, the next, the next part of the game was a was a certainly us just 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 for whatever for whatever reason not being confident enough one v one and yeah. And obviously half time, you know, gave us that opportunity to regroup. We still went in level, but they get the real sucker punch straight in. You know, two minutes into that second half. So was that again just heads dropping in that second half after that early goal for them? Um. Yeah. I mean. We, 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 the first, the first thing, the, the dressing room half time was, was um, like we were getting beat. Well, first and foremost, I don't know whether that's an expectation thing. I don't know whether that's for whatever reason we can't perform at home and and, and whatnot. Um, and we want to perform. We obviously want to perform at home. Um, but then, then to, I thought we come out and start okay for three or four minutes, and then obviously we got caught in that transition over there with, with obviously Justin um, giving. Well, well, what, what, what might have been a foul and, and got caught 3v3 on the back line and, and that probably pretty much exp explained everything about our day and it was it was man for man all over the pitch and the today in particular they, they, they were better than us in that scenario. But looking ahead to this week we've got two away trips to, to get rid of that home form hoodoo which we have seen yeah. so is that a nice opportunity to, to go in with a little bit less pressure? Or? Uh, I, um, yeah, I mean, listen, we've got away games now, and, and we're better away from home. So, for whatever reason, um, we are more com I'm more confident when we go away from home. Um, I know the I know the players are, um, and um, for whatever reason, we can't transfer that and, and bring that here. Um, we want to, we need to, but we haven't been able to, and, and it's something we won't really want to do. And but like I said, we've got Halifax away and Wheelstone away, and uh, for, for whatever reason. And I, for whatever reason, there'll be a confidence and there'll be a belief that we can go and perform there. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't probably bet against that. We will. Cheers, Chris. cheers, Sam. Click here for the latest match highlights, and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.